I love airports. Feel safe in airports, thanks to the high-caliber individuals we have working at X-ray security. <laughs> How about this crack squad of savvy, motivated personnel? <laughs> the way you want to set up your airport security is you want the short, heavy-set woman at the front with the skin-tight uniform. <laughs> That's your first line of defense. You want those pants so tight, the flap in front of the zipper has pulled itself open. You can see the metal tangs hanging on for dear life. Then you put the bag on the conveyor belt, goes to the little luggage car wash. Then you have that other genius down at the other end looking in the little x-ray TV screen. This Einstein has chosen to stand in front of x-rays 14 hours a day as his profession looking in that thing. I, I have looked in that TV screen. I cannot make out one object. He's standing there. What is that, a hair dryer with a scope on it? That looks okay. Keep it moving. <laughs> Do the people that work in these little shops in the airport have any idea what the prices are every place else in the world? <laughs> yeah, $14 tuna sandwich. We think that's fair. Then you get on the plane. Pilot, of course, always has to come on the PA system. This guy's so excited about being a pilot, he can't even stand himself. <laughs> well, I'm going to take it up to about 20,000. Then I'm going to make a left by Pittsburgh. Then I'm going to make a right by Chicago. Then I'm going to bring it down to 15,000. Yeah, he's giving you the whole route, all his moves. We're in the back going, yeah, fine, that's all. <laughs> you know, just do whatever the hell you got to do. I don't know end up where it says on the ticket, really, is <laughs> our only concern. <laughs> then the stewardesses have to come. They show you how to use a seatbelt in case you haven't been in a car since 1965. <laughs> oh, you lift up on the buckle. Oh. I was trying to break the metal apart. <laughs> I thought that's how it I was going to try and tear the fabric part of the belt. I thought if I could just get it started. <laughs> then they always point out the emergency eggs. It's always with that very vague point, though, isn't it? Where the, where the hell would these places be, would you say? The whole tiny world on the airplane, isn't it? There's always that little tiny table there, a tiny computer, everyone's in a little cramped seat, tiny food, tiny utensils, tiny liquor bottles, tiny bathroom, tiny sink, tiny mirror, tiny faucet. So it's a small problem, gonna be a slight delay, we're gonna be a little late. <laughs> I always go in the airplane bathroom. Even if I don't have to go, I gotta go in there. It's nice, it's like your own little apartment on the plane, isn't it? <laughs> go in there, lock the door, the light comes on after a second. It's like a little surprise party. But I'm always impressed with the amount of equipment that they have in that place. I mean, it's little, but they got the tissues, towels, closets, compartments, tiny slot for used razor blades. They always have that. Who is shaving on the plane? And shaving so much, they're using up razor blades? Is this what's happening?